I'd like to present to you Zepto. And by the way, I'd like to thank Dr. Koldev Singh for coming up with that great name. Zepto is an innovative disposable device used in cataract surgery. It utilizes precision pulse technology. It's accurate, a reproducible capsulotomy that is quick, safe, and above all, very affordable. The device is consisting of a silicone suction cup, a nitinol capsulotomy cutting element, and an incision finder or push rod system. To give you a view of what the company has really been focusing on for many months and years was to be able to do a perfectly round capsulotomy every time just like you're seeing right here. Now how the device is used is very different. We stretched the device to allow us to go through a 2.2 millimeter incision. The push rod retracts and this is where it allows you to visualize on the center axis, apply suction, and in four milliseconds make a capsulotomy. We've also done extensive work in a GLP study with the University of Utah. In 40 rabbit eyes, one, one eye was done with the typical CCC, the other was done with the Zepto. At the end of one month, there was absolutely no difference in the two eyes of the rabbit. Secondly, a very important aspect is that we introduced a device to measure the temperature of the eye during the time that Zepto was applying energy. And as you can see here, almost little to none. That's very important as we go forward here, but here we have a pair of cadaver eyes. On the left is a CCC, and on the right is the Zepto device. We wanted to watch and see what happens with zonules when you're doing these two procedures. And as you can see on the right, Zepto is done, perfectly centered. And on the right, we still see that we have extensive stretch on the zonules. It's certainly not round, nor is it centered. In this video here, again, impaired cadaverides, we're testing the strength of the capsulotomy. The top is the CCC, and there you see it's tear. The bottom is Zepto. The end result in this one pair of cadaver eyes, significantly stronger capsulotomy. But what if we did this in 46 paired cadaver eyes? What would we see? Well, here we saw in one arm, Zepto against Femto, and then Zepto against CCC. 100% of the time, every time, two to four times stronger capsulotomy. Now the interesting thing about this device is how it works. Here we have the capsule in blue and the red is our nitinol ring. We, we capture under suction trap water molecules. And at that point, we deliver a small amount of energy in four milliseconds, we get a rapid transition phase of the water molecules and then we cleave the material. Very clean, very accurate. But why is it stronger? We looked at doing a number of SCMs and here is what we saw. It's because of the way that we cut this tissue, the fact that we do not burn the tissue we're able to shrink the collagen strands, which then allows for a slight upturn in the edge. When you're looking at the actual capsulotomy edge, the working part, we have natural tissue as compared to a CCC. Now here's the other extraordinary thing. Remember I mentioned about temperature. Here is what no other device can do as well insert underneath a small four millimeter pupil and still allow to do a capsulotomy. 
So now that we knew we had a device that could be very consistent, round, centered on the visual axis, very strong, works underneath pupils, works with pseudo exfoliates, how is it going to be accepted in the marketplace? We contracted with a company called Diametics to get a good understanding of not only what the issues are with our product, but how is it going to be accepted in the marketplace? They use only hard facts, peer-reviewed literature, epidemiology statistics, behavioral change theory, as well as a number of different validated statistical engines. Their clients are the large guys in the industry and, and they have validated this approach in over 150 companies. Their results have consistently been above 80% in terms of accuracy. But what do they look at? Do they look at how the uh, innovators look at this? Do they look at how the early adopters know? When you're looking for market penetration, you need to understand what the early majority needs and wants. Because once those individuals have accepted the product and are using it, they're going to drive the later majority. But they also did another analysis here looking at the fact of patient segments. Very important aspect here. 25% of all patients that walk through the door for cataract procedure have these kind of comorbidities. So what did they say? After four months of intensive work, Zepto is a compelling product. It is going to have very quick adoption rates, primarily because of that comor comorbidity um, personnel. And ease of use will also spread to other physicians and other markets. The price analysis that they did as well said that this product can be, will be sustained on 70% of all procedures. So what did they say in terms of market? They expected to see us by year five in less than half of the market to be almost $400 million run rate. But the other interesting aspect of this is that they said if this was integrated into a FACO machine, it would be substantially higher. And also, they knew, they saw, that it enhances the marketability of other associated products such as FACO machines, PACs, and OVDs. The interesting aspect is that our own personal view on this as we look forward was consistent. So here is the new product now that we are focusing in on making it better, as well as the power source. Thank you.